Hello Louisiana Beer Reviews. We're doing a duo review of a beer called Holland 1839. I don't know what the year signifies honestly, but uh Okay, um can you not do that with that glass? If you break it, I can't replace it. It's from a company called Sh Royal Schwinkles Brewery. Can I have the opener? Why don't you concentrate on holding your glass? It's right there on the floor. All right, where you left? Thank you. Okay. So we're using fancy beer opener, which is a basically a wine opener. Um, on this, because I think it looks better than a pocket opener carrying your keychain. Anyway, um, Holland beer. I don't know anything about this. It says 1839. You were saying, I guess that's when uh, it's formed or something. No, I, don't I can't know. figure it out because the company they talking about. It's got one low and brow lion on it. Y'all remember low and brow? Tonight, tonight, let it be low and brow. They anyway. talk, their website talks about how they've been owned by the same family since 1719 and, and all of this. But this is a store brand, Aldi, right? It's sold at their store, but I don't think it is a store brand. It may be at other stores, but it might be. It, it might be because, see, Schwenkel's. They put out a beer called Hollandia, so this could be their the Aldi version of. Is that like Hollandia? Is that like Portlandia? Like that comedy show? Portland? Uh, I was in Florida Portland. City. Portland. I was in Florida City, Florida years ago when I bought a can of Hollandia, and it was really good, you know. And um, this could just be the Aldi brand of Hollandia, which is also five percent. Cheers. So it's, it's looking kind of straw to a light and golden color. Head's dissipating. Uh, it's just average looking beer. It, look, it's, it seems to be a little bit more, a little bit more complex than your American fizzies. Uh, but I would say uh, this is very close in appearance to the last one we just had, which was the Bohemian in appearance. It's almost identical, even with a little lacing sticking. Uh, so, the nose is not what I expected. I'm smelling something that's very faint European style. Kind of like Heineken a little bit. With some kind of a, a, like an American lager. You know, where it's, where it's kind of like cakey a little bit. Cakey flavored. Yeah, but I don't think this is That's what I'm getting any, on the nose. I don't think this is made with any rice or corn. It's, it's all malt. I'm just telling us that's what I'm getting on the nose. Anyway, cheers. Mm. Tastes like a European type beer. It's, it's just... The flavor's kind of washed down. Like, you get in that grassy hop, but it just, it dissipates very quickly. What's the alcohol in this? You said it's five? Five. And this is a, a little too cold. Is this an 11.2 or a 12? Unfortunately, it's 11.2. 11.2, yeah. And they're not using a so big... I would... Go ahead. I'm sorry. They're not using a fake name as far as like who produces it mm -hmm. because it says uh, the, the description of who produces it is one of the breweries from Schwinkels because they own a bunch of breweries in the Netherlands. So I know that's, I said, oh, well, H. West. And they were showing a photo of it on uh, Google Maps. Um, it's good. The flavor is real light though. Like it's like light, like you're expecting to get that, like that Heineken type of punch or... Uh, you know, it's just those well put together Bavarian types. Now the thing that's bugging me a this little bit, like, the thing that bugs me a little bit, but I know Aldi's not going to do it. They're just not going to do it. <clears throat> but uh, like I said, H West, Hollandia West, the West Brewery. If you look at the Hollandia website, they got their regular five percent like this, and then they got Hollandia Strong at seven, and then I think they got an Hollandia what they call Super. At 12. Who would want to drink that? I, I would just like to try it, you know, just to see. 
you know, give us the full variety. But I guess all these, I'm going to do with that super high, high test stuff. Because nobody really buys that. There's only a select few beer, and we've gone through this discussion before. Companies are only going to bring in what flies out the door. Anything else, they're going to take it along. That's why we don't get the girls cannon. That's why you don't get a lot of beers that, that are like that. Eleven percent girls. We and you, you, you know what? You could think craft beer for that too. Craft beer came in and they created all these funky doodle beers, and it's only a cult following for that. But yet they scream at retailers to carry it, carry it, carry it, and they carry it, and then they get it. And lo and behold, stuff just sits there now, doesn't it? Oh, any kind of crap. Nobody beer. wants it. Even if it's a ghost. Sits It'll there. just sit on the shelf. It collects dust. Yeah, you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Because it's you know, it's 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 going through its whole bell curve. So you can think craft beer for Well it's making flooding the market. But I would like to try some of those super strongs. I'm just curious. I'm not saying they're being not good. everybody drinks craft beer. Not everyone like not everyone likes the styles. Not everyone drinks them. I know. I like a really good IPA. It's put together well. I don't like cake better IPAs. Mm. I don't like anything that's off. I don't like anything that lies and says it's an IPA and it's really not. Uh, I don't like the fact that we can't get red beers anymore. Thank you, craft beer. Uh, I like porters, stouts. I like really good beers. I don't like I don't like a stout that tastes like a chocolate bomb or any of that stuff. So the only red beer we still get is Killian's. George Killian's Irish red. Yeah, I'm looking at that Michelob box right there, dead center as an as an Irish red Michelob. That was good. That was Irish good. red Michelob back in the day, but we can't get any of that. Can't get diddly anymore. Nope. Well, anyway, this has a nice little hop tingle at the end. I'm figuring the bitterness units must be around oh fifteen seventeen of uh, <clears throat> medium body crisp crisp finish uh, crisp. Say where? How do you score this one? I'm gonna give this an A minus, uh, just because my expectation was a little higher of it. I didn't expect to get taste something that tasted like a light version of a Heineken, and that's pretty much what it tastes like to me. Um, it's like a, the, the taste was a little bit more subdued. Heineken. Uh, this would be like a lawnmower beer. You know, you're hot. It's hot. You're sweaty. If you can handle a five o, great. Uh, most light beers are at 4.2, 4.3, some at 4.1, uh, but of course that's American Fizzies. Um, I'd say it, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a really good beer and I'm going to give it like a 91. Okay, I'm going to go 92. I pretty much agree with everything you're saying. And uh, one thing, it's $7.99 for the six pack, but you're only getting 11.2 ounce bottles. One thing I'll give Heineken credit for, they send us... 12 ounce bottles. But you're not getting Heineken with $7.99. No. No. You're going to pay $9.99 or $10.99 for Heineken. Yeah. So, value wise, yeah, suck up the, the, the loss of the 0.8 ounce. My advice. And it's like gross. I love gross, but you only get 11.2. They've been running that for $9.99 in my town, gross. All right, so. $9.99. Mm hmm. So you, get this for, you can get this for seven ninety nine. Yeah, twenty percent less. Yeah, this is the one. Do you, you like, like this? I do like it. Then that's where you're at. Price wise, that's where you're at. Yep. Okay, so laissez les bon temps relate uh, an excellent product, and we're going to end this review by saying y'all go to the Netherlands and tour the Hollandia or Bavaria, really Schwenkel's Brewery. Drink better beers, kids. Breweries. This one's really good. Try it.